there is another tool which we have used in our previous exercises also called health plugin is very useful for production as well as development environments and it is not just used to browse the data but it can also give you some information about your cluster and node and let me show you how so let's open your browser and head plugin on the overview screen you can see there are some buttons over here and all these buttons have some menus under those okay on this screen we can see it shows our node okay since this is a single node cluster it is showing only one node here if it were multiple nodes we would have seen all the node informations on the same page now for this particular node if we want to look at some cluster node information then we can go into information section and click cluster node info and here it will show you some configuration we have done for our Elasticsearch setup like here you can see the data config location log locations and some other information about the cluster and this node not just this but if you want to drill down further into the node specific statistics then you can also look at that for example it shows you how many different documents you have across all the indices in this particular node and the size and all different kinds of statistics a node can have you can look at on this page okay apart from that head plugin also gives you an option to do some actions on your node for example if you click on this action screen you can shut down this particular node from here okay we are not going to do it for now okay similarly at indices level you also get some options to look at some information and do some actions so for example in our index called mortality we can see it has a size of uh, 531 kilobytes and it has about 1700 documents it has five primary shards and all of them are active and it has five replica shards which are unassigned okay and you can uh, identify them by uh, color the green means it's active okay and gray out is inactive now in the info section under an index you get some more information like you can check the index status and here you can look at the status about this particular index it is similar to the health plugin we had used earlier but it has some more information shown here okay other than index status we can also look at some index metadata okay like this particular index has a mapping and on date field we are using a particular format and uh, let me see if we have not analyzed yeah we have not analyzed a field called organization and also country killed so you can see the mapping on this particular index in this section as well okay now apart from info you can do some actions on your index and your actions are listed under menu called actions if you click on this you can see various uh, actions you can do one of it is uh, very useful is called delete so if you click on this it will ask you to confirm whether you really want to delete this particular index and you have to type delete word and then click ok okay then it will it will delete this particular index from your cluster we are not going to do it here other than that you can refresh you can rename your index create a new alias for it you can also flush all the data you can optimize and there are some other actions you can take on this particular index okay other than that you can also look at the data in the browser section list of your indices in this tab and we also discussed about uh, the structured queries uh, you can create from within the head plugin in this section here you can type your query okay so both of these options structured query and any request they are kind of similar the difference is that a structured query generates the query for you and in any request you can write your queries and it can be of any type like get put head delete whatever query you want to write okay so this is about head plugin and I see you in another class with some more tools, okay?